Is your car struggling to start in the morning? You turn the key, but it just won't fire up easily. A faulty coolant temperature sensor might be the culprit. In this video, we'll explain what the coolant temperature sensor does, symptoms of a bad sensor, and how you can fix it yourself. But before we continue, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be the first to see our video. Let's dive right in. A hard start in the morning, especially in cold weather, can often be traced back to a faulty coolant temperature sensor, CTS. This sensor plays a crucial role in regulating the fuel mixture and engine performance based on temperature. When it malfunctions, your engine may struggle to start or run inefficiently. What are the functions of the coolant temperature sensor? The coolant temperature sensor, or CTS, is a small but essential part of your car's engine. It monitors the coolant temperature and sends this information to the engine control unit, or ECU. The ECU then adjusts fuel injection, idle speed, ignition timing, and cooling fan operation based on this data. Below are its five functions. Number 1. Fuel Injection Adjustment The coolant temperature sensor, CTS, helps regulate the air-fuel mixture by informing the engine control unit, ECU, of the engine's temperature. When the engine is cold, the sensor signals the ECU to increase fuel injection, creating a richer air-fuel mixture. This is necessary because cold fuel vaporizes poorly, making combustion less efficient. Number 2. Idle Speed Control The CTS influences the idle air control EIC, valve or electronic throttle control, etc., to regulate idle speed. When the engine is cold, it requires a slightly higher idle speed to maintain smooth operation. The sensor ensures that the ECU increases the throttle opening or controls airflow to prevent stalling. Number 3. Ignition Timing Adjustment the coolant temperature sensor, CTS, plays a role in adjusting ignition timing based on engine temperature. When the engine is cold, combustion takes longer, requiring the ECU to slightly advance the ignition timing for efficient burning of the air-fuel mixture. Conversely, when the engine reaches normal operating temperature, the ignition timing is adjusted accordingly to prevent knocking or pinging. Number 4. Temperature monitoring for cooling fan operation. The CTS helps the ECU control the cooling fans based on the engine temperature. When the coolant reaches a specific threshold, e.g., 195 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius, the sensor signals the ECU to activate the radiator fans to prevent overheating. Once the temperature drops, the ECU turns off the fans to maintain efficiency. Number 5. Engine Efficiency and Fuel Economy the CTS contributes to overall engine efficiency by ensuring optimal temperature regulation for combustion. A properly functioning sensor helps the engine run at the ideal operating temperature around 195 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 to 105 degrees Celsius, where fuel combustion is most efficient. This leads to better fuel economy, reduced emissions, and prolonged engine life. Symptoms of a faulty coolant temperature sensor Number 1. Hard starting, especially in the morning. The coolant temperature sensor, CTS, helps the ECU determine the right air-fuel mixture for different temperatures. When the engine is cold, it requires a richer fuel mixture for an easy start. If the sensor sends incorrect temperature readings, such as reporting the engine as already warm, the ECU may deliver too little fuel, leading to hard starting, long cranking, or failure to start. Signs to watch for. The engine takes longer to crank in the morning. You have to press the accelerator slightly to get it to start. The car starts fine later in the day when the engine is warmer. A failing CTS can mimic a weak battery or bad starter, so it's crucial to diagnose the issue correctly. Number 2. Rough idling or engine stalling. After the engine starts, it relies on the CTS for idle control adjustments. If the sensor is faulty, it can cause an incorrect fuel mixture or ignition timing, leading to a rough idle or even engine stalling after startup. Signs to watch for The engine shakes or vibrates excessively when idling. The RPM fluctuates, sometimes dropping too low, causing the engine to stall. Restarting the car after it stalls may be difficult. 
a failing CTS confuses the ECU, making it struggle to stabilize engine performance. Number 3. Poor fuel economy. If the CTS incorrectly reports the engine as cold, the ECU will increase fuel injection, thinking the car needs extra fuel for startup. However, this leads to an overly rich fuel mixture, causing excessive fuel consumption and black smoke from the exhaust. Signs to watch for. You refuel more often than usual. The exhaust emits black smoke, indicating unburnt fuel. The spark plugs foul quickly due to excess fuel. Over time, running a rich mixture can cause carbon buildup, damaging spark plugs, oxygen sensors, and the catalytic converter. Number 4. Check engine light, CEL, or on. A malfunctioning CTS often triggers the check engine light, CEL, because the ECU detects inconsistent or missing data from the sensor. Modern cars will store a trouble code related to the CTS, which can be read using an OBDII scanner. Common error codes include P0115, coolant temperature sensor circuit malfunction P0116, inconsistent temperature readings P0117, low voltage, sensor reading too cold. P0118, high voltage, sensor reading too hot. P0119, intermittent signal issues if your CEL is on and you experience hard starts, rough idling, or poor fuel efficiency, a faulty CTS may be the culprit. A faulty coolant temperature sensor can cause a hard start in the morning, rough idling, poor fuel economy, and engine overheating. Early diagnosis and replacement can save you fuel, improve performance, and prevent costly repairs. How to fix a faulty coolant temperature sensor? Step 1. Locate the sensor. The coolant temperature sensor is usually located near the thermostat housing or on the cylinder head. Check your vehicle's manual for the exact location. Step 2. Check for faulty wiring. Before replacing the sensor, check the wiring for corrosion or loose connections. A bad connection can also cause false readings. Step 3. Test the sensor with a multimeter. Set your multimeter to ohms and test the sensor's resistance at different temperatures. If the readings are inconsistent or the sensor is completely unresponsive, it needs to be replaced. Step 4. Remove and replace the sensor. Make sure the engine is cool before removing the sensor. Use a wrench to unscrew it, then install the new one securely. Reconnect the wiring and refill any lost coolant if needed. Step 5. Reset the ECU and test. If your check engine light was on, use an OBDII scanner to reset the error codes. Start your engine and observe if the problem is resolved. If this video helped you, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more car maintenance tips. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.